UFC 301's just around the corner, and there's a possibility that it might get cancelled this week, or even moved to the apex due to the ongoing war between the police and the Brazilian cartel in Rio de Janeiro. We're going to get into that story now, and then I'm going to give you some thoughts on what I think should happen in regards to this. Okay, so the headline reads, Drug wars erupts in Rio de Janeiro. Fierce gun battle rages between Brazilian military police and brutal red command cartel that rules slums with an iron fist. Strong word in there. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the video. Se alguém for descer para comprar pão, traz dois reais de pão para mim e três de mortadela comum, por favor. So as you can hear the gunshots in the in the background of the recording. Passa aqui, toca a campainha. Smoke from all the fire, uh, the, the gunfire. So as you can see, it's like a, a war zone. It's like a war zone in the city of Rio at the moment. Uh, guns, firefights. Uh, the open that it doesn't spill out the civil conflict. So uh, the article reads, Gun battles and fires have been raging in the streets of, of Rio de Janeiro today as police launched a crackdown on violent drug cartel, which terrorizes the favelas of the Brazilian city. Uh, police launch raids on the Red Command, a huge organised crime faction which authorities say uses the poor Complexo de Armeo area in the north of the city as a bunker. Uh, so that's like the holding ground, the hideout or wherever, where they're uh, committing the crimes and, you know, trafficking drugs and stuff like that. And uh, police have gone into the favela and the, the you know, raging war on them. Uh, dozens have been killed in similar raids over recent years with innocent victims reported to have been gunned down by stray bullets in their own homes as police and gang members exchange fire. Um, at least 350 police officers are said to have been involved in the early morning operation today, including elite troops from the military police equipped with helicopters, armoured vehicles and heavy weapons. As the sun rose this morning, huge plumes of black smoke could be seen rising into the sky above the city, which locals describing their terror as a as the streets resembled a war zone. So uh, that's the burning cars and stuff that we saw in the video. So what does this mean for UFC 301? So the civil conflict is in the favelas, in out, the out, outskirts of the city. If it starts breaking out into the city, the, the could be, we could see the UFC cancel the events or even move it to the apex. However, the, the, the open dates contained into the areas of the favelas, the upper upper parts of the city. Uh, this is a bit alarming for fans going to the UFC, UFC this week. It is fight week, so anyone travelling out there, be safe, be wise, be smart. However, I have strong opinions on this. And does everyone remember what happened to Glover Teixeira when he fought Jamal Hill in Brazil? Now, Brazilian fans absolutely classless act during Glover Teixeira's retirement erupts, erupts fans to say Colby was right. Now... When Jamal Hill beat Glover Teixeira at the event, the fans were disgusting. As fans, Glover was giving his retirement speech, they were leaving the event, they were booing, they were being classless. Their guy who's put in an absolutely phenomenal career, had so many great fights, given so much to the sport, and they just walked out on the guy. It was The, 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 the crowd, the arena was empty while he was giving his fucking retirement speech. And it's disgusting. And I say, based on what's happening at the moment, move the event to the apex because these fans don't deserve a pay-per-view. They don't fucking deserve it. Um, that's what they think of the sport. Uh, one of your legends who's given his life to MMA and you're walking out on his retirement speech. You've got no class, no pride. Uh, I mean, the Brazilian fans... Um, for, for fans that are so proud of the country and, you know, 
the old the the fighters in such high regard. I don't know what what happened that night where not one of them paid the respects to an absolute fucking legend of the sport. Um, so if you don't remember what happened, while the fight was definitely a great watch, what left people shocked was the crowd in the arena. After the fight concluded, the stands were completely empty and both the fighters had to give their interviews to an almost empty crowd. Uh, fans online were quick to notice, notice and did not hold back in calling out the local crowd. With Teixeira being a Brazilian legend, not just a Brazilian fighter, an absolute fucking legend of the sport, many found it disappointing that his countrymen were not present for his retirement speech. That his own countrymen just left him hanging. I think everyone else in every other country was gutted for Teixeira. We, we hold him in such... He, he, I'm not a Brazilian, but I hold him in such high regard as an MMA fighter, as a fucking legend of the sport. Uh, fans on social media bashed the Brazilian crowd for walking out before before Teixeira went on the mic. After leaving his art out in the octagon, many found it disrespectful that he had to retire in front of an almost empty arena. I wish um, I wish his last fight wasn't in, in Brazil. I wish it was in the UK. I think the UK fans would have, would have stayed and applauded the man. They would, he would have got a fucking standing ovation. Um, even in the US, I think the US fans have that respect for fighters, especially fighters like Teixeira who've given so much, so many great fights that we've seen over the years. Um, so given what's going on in Brazil with the civil conflict between the gangs and the police, uh, UFC 301 this week, move, move it to the apex because these guys, they, they, they've not proven that the real fans, they, they don't give a shit about the legends. So fuck them. Move it to the apex. Screw them. Uh, keep the fans safe that are traveling there from other countries. And yeah, uh, Brazil, do better next time. Then They should be getting a fight night. See how they do with some fight nights. If they, if they change the ways, then uh, give them a pay-per-view. But yeah, fuck, fuck them for now. Give them, give, them some more, give them some more fight nights. Let them in the crust before we move on to the pay-per-views. That being said, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.